Today we're gonna mix it up a little bit. I'm gonna show you some different ways to use chrome. So I have three nails all polished out with two coats of our Manicube Black 101. I haven't top coated any of these. It still just has that tacky finish after curing that Manicube. So on our first design, what I'm gonna do is actually use that tacky surface and we're going to take, I'm gonna work with my, those earth tone colors today. And all I'm gonna do is take just a little makeup brush, nothing fancy, and I'm going to, almost like you're applying eyeshadow, you're gonna take a couple of different colors and let's start with kind of that rose goldy, just kind of loading up my brush a little bit. And then I'm just gonna tap that into that tacky layer. Take a little bit more, tap that into that tacky layer and just kind of blend it out. I'm gonna take out a little bit of that extra color in there. And then let's do, oh, let's do maybe a little of that kind of coppery, bronzy kind of color. I'm going to tap that in. Again, we're working into that tacky surface. It's cured, but it's a little bit tacky still. And then let's come in with a little bit of that softer gold, just kind of blending those together, getting kind of an ombre look. And if you feel like you need to blend it a little bit more, grab a little bit more of that color and just kind of tap right at that line, right where those two colors meet. Maybe just a little bit more of that bronzy color to kind of blend those together, just to kind of get those to blend nicely. I'm gonna grab a bigger brush. It's a little bit fluffier, it's a little bit softer. And I'm just gonna gently dust off any of that extra chrome pigment. So once we dust that off, I'm just gonna set that into our light for just about anywhere 10 to 30 seconds. So it's gonna really just grip that chrome powder. It's gonna adhere it really well to that tacky surface. And then we'll go ahead and top coat our nail. So we kind of set that chrome powder into place. Now we could definitely do a shiny top coat and that would look really pretty. I'm gonna change it up a little bit though. I'm gonna use our Manicure Matte Top Coat. This is gonna give our nail kind of that brushed metal look. And we'll just brush on a coat of our top coat. We're actually gonna do two coats. Usually when I'm working with chrome, I like to do two coats of top coat, and that's really gonna help to seal our design in and seal that chrome powder onto the nail. So we're gonna do one coat of our matte top coat. We'll pop that into the light, give that a 30 second freeze, and then we'll do our second coat. Okay, so we have our first coat of our matte top coat cured. We'll do our second coat to really make sure our chrome is sealed, making sure to cap all the way around your edges as well. Let's give this a full 60 second cure, and then we'll cleanse off that tacky surface so you can see that matte look. So our nail is cured. I'm gonna go ahead and use our Manicure Cleanse, and we're gonna remove that tacky surface so you can see that really pretty matte chrome. I know it sounds weird, matte chrome, but that's where we're at here. We got a matte surface on here over that chrome powder. So it just looks kind of like that brushed metal, just a really pretty, kind of a different kind of a look. Our second design here, we're gonna use our brighter colors on this one. And on this one, I'm gonna use my Manicube Base Coat. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the Manicube Base out onto my mixing tile and mix as much as you need. If you're just doing one nail, just mix a little bit. If you're doing a full set, you can mix a little bit more. So I'm gonna take an orange wood stick and just scrape out a little bit of that chrome powder onto my palette. And maybe just a little bit more. And you know what, let's kinda mix it up just a little bit. We'll custom blend a color here. So maybe take a little bit of that rose gold color as well. And right down onto our mixing tile. And then I'm gonna just take a little painting knife and we're gonna blend those all together. Really make sure to mix those up well, get all of that pigment mixed in so that it's gonna be a nice even coating. And again, on this nail, I have two coats of our Manicure Black. Again, both cured out, still just has that tacky surface on it. And I'm just gonna brush that base coat blended in there with our chrome powder right over that nail. It's gonna give you kind of that metallic look, but just kind of a different shimmer, a different tone to it. And again, we'll pop that into the light for a quick 30 second freeze. Let's go ahead and do a second coat just to give it a little bit more richness to it, a little bit more solid coverage. Get all the way to our edges there. 
and I'm just doing a really thin layer. So I'm not worried about it under curing. This is very thin. It's gonna cure all the way through really well. So not to worry about that. We'll give that another 30 second freeze and then we'll go ahead and top coat that one in as well. So our layer is cured and again, we can go into either our manicure top coat or we're, we can use our ultimate finish. Whatever top coat you like, we'll go ahead and seal that. Now you can see this is picking up a little bit of pigment. That's okay. We're gonna get this into our light and then we can clean out our brush just using a lint-free wipe. You can just gently wipe out that little bit of pigment that comes off of there. Not a big deal at all. One thing I do recommend though, is if you are using glitters or chrome colors and things like that um, in this manner, I would definitely recommend having a separate top coat for your glitter and chrome applications so that if you do get that little bit of glitter in there or a little bit of chrome in there, it's not gonna be a big deal when you go to polish your solid colors. Okay, so we set that into place. Now again, every time I use the chrome powders, I always like to use a second coat just to make sure that everything gets sealed really well all the way around those edges. Even though we had our chrome mixed in with our base coat, I still like to make sure to do an extra coat of top coat just to seal them really well. And again, we'll go back in, we'll do a final cure of 60 seconds. So our nail is cured out again because we used that manicure top coat. I'm gonna use the manicure cleanse to remove that tacky finish. And then we're gonna see that beautiful high shine and that sparkly chrome look. Okay, on to our third design. So we've got our two coats of black over this nail. I'm gonna go over this at this point with our matte top coat, and then we're gonna do our design on top of that matte top coat, okay? And it'll make sense as to why once we get to that point, okay? But you're gonna seal that black with our matte, and then we'll give that a full cure of 60 seconds, so cure all the way through. All right, so that layer of matte finished top coat is cured out. I'm gonna come in with my manicure cleanse. We're gonna cleanse that surface. Take that top coat off. We don't want any stickiness to this nail at this point. So really make sure that you cleanse that nail well. So I'm again gonna come in with my white striper paint. So we'll take our white and we're gonna just draw on whatever kind of design you wanna do. I'm gonna just do some kind of swirly lines here. Just coming up and down the nail. If you wanna do animal print with this, you can do, do animal print. That's actually kind of a fun look. Uh, whatever, whatever you wanna come up with. We're just creating as we go. Okay, so when you have your lines like you like them, put that back into the light. Again, curing this for a full 60 seconds. Okay, so our white lines are cured out. I'm gonna come back in with our bold colors here. And this time I've got just a little sponge makeup applicator and we're gonna blend our chrome powders here. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of that green, kind of coming at the ends of our lines. Just kind of fading that out a little bit. We'll grab a little bit of that blue, bringing that up to the green. And these are just gonna start to blend together, kind of ombre together a little bit. And then let's take a little bit of that fuchsia, blending that in together. Hey guys, this is why we wanna make sure that we didn't have any more of that tackiness from our top coat or from our matte finish top coat, because anywhere you had that matte finish top coat or any of that tacky layer, that's where your chrome powder is gonna adhere to. So right now, it's only adhering to those white lines that we had on. If we did have any more top coat on there, it would stick to that and it would kind of clog up your design a little bit. Make sure you get all the way to those little edges. Okay, I think we're good there. And then again, I'm gonna go back to my fluffier brush and just dust that nail off so that there's no little bits of chrome in between or anywhere else on the design. And we'll go through again, we'll do two coats of our top coat to really make sure that this is nice and sealed. But once you get that top coat on there, you can really see that chrome just popping out and getting really bold on there. Okay, for our first coat, we're gonna just bring that into the light for a quick 30 seconds, freeze it into place, and then we'll do a full cure on our second coat. So we got our first coat on there. We're gonna come back with our second coat, making sure it's really sealed in there. 
And then again, we'll finish curing this for a full 60 seconds. All right, so our nail is fully cured out. Because we used that manicure top coat, I'm gonna, again, go back to my manicure cleanse. We're gonna remove that tacky surface and we've got our finished design. So hopefully you guys, some of these techniques, some of these different ways of using chrome are gonna inspire you to do some different kind of designs and hopefully you enjoy the colors.